All right. Hey guys, welcome to BP the Bible Perspective. Um, I didn't watch the debates <laughs> last night, um, uh, but the responses blew my mind. Now, before we get into it, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. Um, no, I didn't watch the debates. Uh, actually, I was doing a Tuesday night Bible study. Um, and so uh, I just didn't watch them. And then after the Bible study, you know, I just, uh, I figured I would get the responses. And boy, the responses blew me away. Um, and when I say responses, I am always... Uh, what can I say? I am always blown away by the um, um, uh, I, I guess let, let me let me let me say it this way. I don't criticize people for their support of Trump and I, I mentioned him, but is he actually either side? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, <laughs> what can I say? I, I, I don't, um, criticize their support, but I, I have some criticisms because of the defense, how people defend Trump. And I'm going to get in that in a moment, but, uh, I don't know what the stats were on the. You know how many that you know what the uh, what the numbers were on the on the um, debates in previous time. People had thought that some upwards of a hundred million people would watch, or it certainly was billed as one of the highly anticipated um, watched uh, to be watched uh, debates. I I wasn't thrilled about the debates for this reason. I didn't think. Anything was going to come out of it. I pretty much thought it went the way it was reported. I did see some clips, you know. I, I'm not surprised at that. I'm, I'm not big on these kind of interviews or debates because, yeah, they're polished, pre, they're uh, prepared, but I don't think, in my opinion, that they ever get to the truth. A lot of people expressed how disappointed they were, how mad, outraged they were in terms of just, of course, that you saw to the two presidential hopefuls going at it. Um, and, you know, look, again, um, I understand why Trump did it. You know, he really doesn't have a record. Um, people blame Chris Wallace, the moderator. Uh, I think that's unfair. Because what was he to do? He couldn't shut up the president of the United States because of his continual interrupting. Um, my thing going forward, I personally, if I was Biden, I wouldn't debate him. And I wouldn't have any other debates because I don't think that it's, it's worth it. I don't think anything is going to come of it. I think you're going to have the side freak show that you have all the way. I think Trump's going to make sure of that. Um, because here's the thing, in, in that kind of format, when you have the country watching, Trump has to answer why he did not manage COVID-19 better. That despite that he knew, early on, we have him on tape, despite that he knew how bad it was, how deadly it was, he did nothing. That he would have to answer, <laughs> um, he would have to answer pretty much uh, why he steered the nation that resulted to date to over 200,000 American deaths. If you have a civil debate, you'd have to answer how come he hasn't answered, re responded to the fact that Putin um, put a bounty out on our troops. He would have to answer why his choices cost American jobs, shut down the economy, 
So if, if you want to look at all those things and more throughout his presidency, that you start at a position where we should have been moving forward, we went back. I think he would have to answer that. And he's not going to answer that, by the way. He'll do exactly what he was doing because, to me, make no mistake about it, that whole dog and pony show was to steer away from, okay, um, to steer away from uh, everything he needs to answer for. It's to overshadow the fact that Biden could bring him up, that people can hear it clearly. But despite all of that, I am amazed at the response of people. And it's predictable, right? If you are conservative, Republican, Fox News, One Nation News, all of those news agencies on the conservative side, and you, and you know, you're going to praise Trump. He's going to he hit a home run. And if you're on the other side, you're going to say Biden hit a home run. You're going to say it was, a, it was a disaster for Trump. And again, pretty much predictable to me about where where it would go so I, I i think they're just not worth it one of the things that kind of bothered me earlier today and i got into a big deep i i didn't mean to uh i'm gonna see if i can bring this prophecy up <laughs> i'm gonna read this prophecy and um there was that, this is why i tell you the response is amazing to me that um let me see if i can bring this up here uh this was a response from a christian she posted this and here this is by uh, stephen powell and the title is donald trump's holy mockery so he says now i think this is in response to the Debate. Let's see what he says. I feel the Lord will say. Now, right off the bat, you know this guy is on some BS because true prophets speak the mind of the Lord. Notice what he says here. It is very appropriate for my servant, Donald Trump, to mock Joe Biden and the Marxists right now. For I have anointed him as Jeru in the spirit and power of Elijah. And every time he mocks these people, he's doing spiritual warfare with the powers they represent. I, the Lord, have called him to run over the bones of Jezebel and to honor her while he's doing it. And not to honor her while he's doing it. I, the Lord, have called him to deal brutally with this Marxist body, for their rise represents the fall and destruction of this great nation. Their rise represents the rise of great red dragon in these last days. And I have anointed this man, meaning Trump, with the spirit of war for this land. These are not cordial exchanges. These are not normal election debates. These are battles which will determine overall the outcome of war for this man who has been anointed and appointed for this time does not fulfill his assignment of throwing down Jezebel from the walls. Then indeed this nation will fall in an open war. Well, safer now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spare the rest of it he goes on to really basically saying and I'm gonna say he's a false prophet okay misrepresenting uh, the Lord um, and I we're not gonna get into all of the reasons why I think this man is a false prophet but notice how you can tell he's a Republican right you can tell he's a conservative and a Christian conservative because what God is for Trump God raised Trump up and notice the brazenness of this the mockery the mockery god says i'm okay with that i'm okay with the mockery one of the things that um it's amazing to me that i would say and i got into a big back and forth with this sister and others 
and I'll say this, you mean tell me God is not concerned about the 200,000 K lives lost, American lives? Hmm. This is what blew me away, the response of some Christians that despite everything about Trump, they color it with rose petals. That, that it continues to blow me away. Uh, but this will go on, unfortunately, and you know we will see uh, come November, well, whenever the either third or eighth, I think it is, whatever the election day. We're going to see. Kind of amazing. Uh, again, that's my uh, that is my perspective, guys. And um, if you have a thought, a comment, add it to the comment section below. And just remember, all comments are welcome. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to BP the Bible Perspective. Till next time, uh, look, I'll see you then. That's just some thoughts I wanted to kind of get off. Because actually, again, I had, ooh, it was a big, big, um, it was a big thing. All right, guys, that's my perspective. I'll see you next time.